The next chapter is the forest resources chapter. Uh, this chapter is of greater significance in areas such as the Nishka Agreement, where there are very large areas of forest land that have to be managed. In the case of your lands, which are relatively small and where the, where the forests are relatively limited on your treaty settlement lands, uh, the, the, the forest uh, resources chapter is relatively straightforward. Essentially, it provides that, um, that, that your land will be treated like private land for the purposes of managing forest resources, which is a very favorable treatment. And additionally, there's an agreement that for the purposes of export or processing, your lands will be given what amounts to really the most positive treatment available. There are also provisions in the forest resources chapter that involve the governments having discussions about how to coordinate forestry activities off TSL and on TSL so that the activities that are done on either don't affect the other. And finally, there will be a discussion between AIP and FINAL about how forest fires will be managed and paid for if forest fires occur, and additionally, how measures to ensure forest health are dealt with.